Hello and welcome to UK Versus and today we're going to be talking about something very cool that was brought to my attention Universes Farming Simulator 2024 Since the announcement of Attack on Titan Battle for Humanity There's one card that we knew we wanted and we were everyone was very vocal about and that is Potato. The potato panel of the Attack on Titan manga is a most anime and manga fans know about Attack on Titan and the potato. For those of you who are not aware, during the Attack on Titan manga, Sasha, in open defiance of her commanding officer, just eats a potato during training. And when stared down and asked what she's doing, she just doubles down and goes, I'm eating a potato. You want some? Does not end well for her, gotta say. But the sheer, absolute, unadulterated defiance of that moment of Sasha's back around and find out moment, it endeared her to the community. And as soon as the asset was announced, everyone wanted the potato. And UVS knew this as potato was the second card of the set designed. A huge shout out to UVS. A huge shout out to UVS for taking their Rosetta Stone translation of IPs and knowing what the community wanted and translating it into a very good card. As potato is a harmless and yet nutritious vegetable, it heals you and it prevents you from taking fatigue. What does that mean? It means that you don't get damage reduction. So it has a enha an enhance in the card pool that lets you gain health and build it down. Amazing. And it has a response that allows you to flip it. And if you're attacks damage would be reduced it doesn't this is very important for the potato farming what do i mean by potato farming i mean that we are going to plant harvest and repeat sasha already has a way of looping off farming potatoes on face she can discard cards her top effect and has a very cool responsibility that when you clear a card from your card pool then you get to pick up an asset this is very very cool for potato which is an asset of one difficulty when you clear it is when a card goes from your card pool to your discard any other means does not trigger sasha so you cannot loop potato off potato unfortunately because of sasha's symbols air and life there are lots of tools within attack on titan battle for humanity that are self-clearing cards it is one of the symbol identity that air has walked away with there are lots of cards that let you clear there are lots of cards that clear themselves i'll clear other cards and then you also have there are lots of cards that let you clear other cards but once you've picked it up once the potato gets into your stage because just discarding and picking up the potato isn't enough yes it gives you a good hand size but we want to be gaining that health gain ability we want to be gaining that response to get our attacks get through we want to increase our irrigation and crop yield of this potato so rather than just having sasha eat the potato and then go get another potato from the discard we want sasha to be farming these potatoes so once the potato hits our stage there is a very very cool interaction with villainous teamwork now villainous teamwork is a life card and we would be building this under life but thankfully because of achievement, we can still play the Attack on Titan Battle for Humanity air cards, which is very, very cool. Achievement is what's opening up these kind of opportunities. Villainous Teamwork is an attack from Undaunted Raid, which has a very cool ability that allows you to destroy one asset and even play stage and gain health equal to assets difficulty. So you destroy potato, you gain one health, and then you can use some clear effects to pick up tail. And then by using cards like Tetra Tower Onslaught, you can keep picking up villainous teamwork and you can keep looping Kato into your discard and clearing it using cards in your stage, as well as those attuned cards we spoke about before. But that is only one means of growing our potatoes from our stage. Thanks to that response, if our opponent is playing non-character damage reduction, so if they're playing deflect, if they're playing weapons clash, any of this damage reduction that's out there, you can negate it, you can get a foundation, and thanks to things like ruin, your opponent can destroy it, and you can also destroy it yourself as we're building on the life with things such as Nedra, Chan of the Big Three, Immortal Shapeshifter, Steadfast Resolve, and other assets such as interdimensional plants. There is also a very cool synergy with Marco's potential. After you destroy a foundation, you can then flip Marco's potential to clear a card from your card pool, which is very, very cool. You get to trigger Sasha to pick up a tail, 
And if it's from your opponent's effect, you get to draw a card. So if you get ruined, you can then destroy your face down potato, draw a card, pick up potato. That is a hell of a loop. It is a flip effect, but luckily we're running life, so we can run things like Falling Heel Strike, which allows us to unflip Marco's potential. And it's very, very cool. And this is a deck of annoying synergy in life game that you can just kind of sit there farming your opponent kind of annoying them once the farm is set up it is very hard to interact with because the only way to stop the response is for your opponent not to play damage reduction which means your attacks are coming in for more power the only way to stop villainous teamwork is to kick it before you get your first enhance so you'd need things like genkai's training or enhance negation and the only way to really stop sasha from picking up is to remove potato from the discard but there are things like deception dagger and sins of the past which allow you to do that it's very hard to disrupt this farm the biggest thing about that is if your opponent just slams you with titan sized attacks and just wipes out your health total but we don't need to worry about that we're farmers we're gaining health we're chilling we're having some fun we're working from dawn till dusk farming our potatoes and that's what we want to do this is a very cool deck idea it's kind of already built itself you've got your foundation destruction you've got your assets you've got the attacks that you want to be running that clear themselves or unflip your foundations to keep this synergy going and i think it would be a very annoying little combo deck i don't expect this to pop up at regionals i don't expect this to be a very competitive deck but I think it's a very fun deck you could play with friends or at locals that could be very annoying for a nice long game where you can kind of just chill out while your opponent is trying to kill you. Some potatoes. If you don't like and subscribe, this creeper will explode. Five, four, three, two, one. You did it. Good. Will you be farming potatoes as well? Have you found a more efficient way to do this combo? Do let me know. Do you have any other combos that you would like to see highlighted for the community? I'm more than happy to cover them. And a huge shout out to Kai from the UK who brought this combo to my attention and would be the original potato farmer. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and stick around and I'll try to get more content like this out. Bye.